Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got another review for you and this one is for the newly released puzzle platformer World Splitter. It wants you to use both sides of your brain to figure out its secrets but is this a real brain teaser or a gamepad lobotomy? Watch on and find out. Let's get to it. Recently there have been a massive influx of puzzle games coming out thick and fast. With so many puzzlers out in the wild, developers are having to find new and inventive ways to gain and maintain our attention. World Splitter is the latest game throwing its hat into the ring, but does it do enough to stand out among the ever increasing crowd? The idea behind World Splitter is a clever one. In order to complete each level, you simply need to make your way from the left side of the screen to the right, because that's never been done before. Of course, there are obstacles that you must overcome, because it was never going to be that easy, was it? There may be a platform that is just out of reach, or a wall that blocks your path. In order to overcome these barriers, you need to switch from one world to another, and this can be done instantly as you play. While I've got you here, do us a favour and click like, and leave a comment at the end if you enjoy this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers, my dears. Within each level there is a solid white line that can be moved and rotated across the screen. This line, or dimension rift, splits the world in two, and by controlling that line you can hide and reveal sections of each world as you choose. That platform that was out of reach? Maybe in another world there is a platform you can jump to, which would make the other platform easier to reach, or that wall blocking your path simply isn't there when you flick between the different worlds. Imagine the rift as being like a curtain, revealing or hiding relevant sections of the game world as you choose. This mechanic is used in some fairly ingenious ways, and although my clunky description might not do it justice, once you start using it, you quickly pick up how it can be used to aid you in-game, and the variety of ways in which it is used quickly picks up. By combining this puzzle mechanic with platforming, World Splitter develops what is an original idea into some really clever self-contained levels. Within each world there are a set number of aliens to collect, which adds a further level of challenge. I found that this kicked off the OCD gamer in me, and I simply wouldn't accept a level as complete until I collected all of the little buggers, which is a lot trickier than it sounds. The difficulty quickly ramps up in World Splitter, and often there were plenty of times I would need to stop and have a good think about what I needed to do, planning out my route through each level before putting it into action. On top of that, there were even a few instances where I couldn't figure out how to get past the level, which resulted in me putting the game down for a little while and coming back to it later with a fresh head. Luckily, World Splitter is built in such a way that dipping in and dipping out isn't so bad, in fact it's probably the best way to play. Each level is self-contained and World Splitter can be picked up quite quickly. Playing for 5 minutes or 5 hours doesn't really matter depending on how much World Splitter does it for you, and this pick up and play aspect serves World Splitter really well. Although I didn't sit down and play World Splitter for long periods of time, I enjoyed having something I could jump in for a quick 10-15 minutes while still feeling like I was making some progress. To the game's credit, it's still installed on my console and it's probably going to stay there until I completely finish it. I'm not sticking around for the story mind you because this isn't a narrative driven puzzle game, but it is a decent puzzle game all the same, and definitely worth a look if you're after a bit of a brain teaser. And that is the end of this review, I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful, if you did, you know what to do, go on down below, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and give the bell a nudge too so that you're notified whenever we've got new stuff. Go on to the info box for our social media channels, website links, and our supporters page, where you can support our team, if you can. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.